Given the dynamics in the U.S. SEC, where new rules are being uh, played for the blockchain technology and even crowdfunding, um, how is the Nigerian SEC preparing the financial and capital markets to be competitive in this regard, considering these new developments uh, at a global scale? We are actually members, you, you know quite all right that we are members of ISCO and we are actually members of the, the blockchain te technology. And that's why last year we felt there's a need for us to have a uniform technology standard in the market. And a committee has already been set off. They've done an extreme work um, relating both with the stock exchange, the FMDQ and other platforms to see how we can have um, a kind of technology system that everybody in the market can key into where we can share and it will reduce costs. It will also enable us, we are the regulators, to, you know, to do proper surveillance. So um, it's an area that we're very keen on and it's an area that we have already set up a committee and is working on it. We are waiting for the report to be submitted and I'm told based on my meeting with them last week that um, in the next one to two weeks that the preliminary report will actually be ready. Now, this year is going to be a lot of activity in infrastructure uh, for state governments. Beyond the bonds uh, issuances, what is the SEC planning in terms of developing bankable projects for these state governments that they can attract uh, investment for their infrastructure? Very good. Um, we are streamlining our issuance processes. Um, one, we are coming up with a reduced cost in terms of the flotation cost. Ours is to make sure that um, any issuer in the market should see the capital market more attractive than going to the bank. So we're looking at um, uh, ways and means that we can reduce the cost. Ho ha ha happily enough, a lot of work has been done. Um, very soon, by next week, our exposure rules will be out so that people can see the kind of structure that we're going to have in terms of the fee base. Um, another very important thing is also the, um, you know, the, 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 the timing of it. Um, why should it take three weeks, four weeks, um, 10 weeks, or 12 weeks before you finish your, 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 your own transaction? Um, so we took the market and we came up with um, a transaction flow process that would ensure that within a period of three, four weeks at the maximum, transaction would be concluded in the market. We have also taxed ourselves at SEC that once you find an application with us, within stipulated period, within five working days, we should be able to review your application at revert back. And we are also pleading with the market that please and please let them ensure that the documentations they're going to file with SEC are accurate documentation. Once documentations are not properly done, we cannot be able to meet with that timeline. So we are also going to have um, a workshop with all the operators to enlighten them and educate them more on the kind of checklist that we have so that we can ensure that once there's issuance in the market, it's done on a timely basis. So transactions are concluded within a period of three, four weeks and um, the transaction cost is so re re reduced. So it makes more sense for an issuer to come to the capital market than to go to the banking sector.